We just launched into a table at Mahjong time. In this strategy theory session, we're going to be playing American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. If you haven't tried playing at Mahjong time yet, look for my email in the video description below. I can send you information about the VIP trial. Let's see what we can do with tiles. We've got a pung of wests, no other multiples. I would focus on wins. So with wests, there is a hand east and west with evens. So I think I would probably keep the evens. Let's see if we have tiles to pass with that idea. Three, nine, seven. Three, nine, seven. That's not too bad. Here we go. So maybe a wind hand with or without dragons. We picked up another dragon, east and west with greens, but we've got gaps, big time. We do have tiles we can pass here though. So Pung of West, we want wins. Let's hope that, let's see, we went right across. We're on first left. Maybe the player to our left, first left, first left, east, right across left. Let's see if they maybe want to let go of some winds, east and south preferably, and thank you. Of course, I wouldn't say that out loud at the table. No, you don't want to talk about your hand at all when you're playing in person or if you're playing online in Zoom or something. You do not want to say anything about your hand. That's Those are called verbal tells. And you could even have physical tells that come up. So you want to put on your poker face, as it were, or your mahjong face, I guess, to use a more relatable term. But the idea is the same. We're waiting here for the player on our left, or right, east, because I think we're going First left. First left. I hope we're not stuck. Let's find out. <coughs> there we go. Oh, I guess I guess we're going across. All right, anyway, we got a keeper nonetheless. Okay, now here we did pick up a like numbers, eights and sixes. So this two can go. But we need tiles to pass. So instead of, since we have north and south here, I'm kind of thinking we should just let the east-west go. I do not like passing like numbers. You know, we might be able to let, let's say, oh, uh, let's let one of these go. Let's discard the six bam and we'll keep the eights just to see what happens. Because if we get easts, we might be able to build on eights. Okay, now we have north and dragon. I think we should focus on winds and dragons completely at this point. So we're going to go ahead and let these go here. Now we're not going to be able to use all these dragons, definitely. And most likely we're not going to be able to use all those wests either. This will be an interesting game. So we'll see. Usually, if people aren't playing wins, they're going to let them go in the first Charleston. But if they're piecing them out, we might see wins in the second Charleston. So here we're going to have a bit of a risky pass. 6-9 for 3-6-9. 8-9 for um, consecutive run. 6-8 for evens. But this is the best we can do with the tiles we have. We want to keep all these tiles here because we could maybe play that concealed hand. Now we did pick up a green dragon, so we're going to keep it. And we do have tiles we can pass. No hesitation there. That's a great pass. It, it's a little risky with a 7-8 in mixed suits there, but it's better than letting go of something we might be able to use. So now we have our red dragon back. So at this point, I would probably focus on news concealed because we have two, three multiples that we would use, north, red, and green. Three multiples. You want to 
pick pick a hand when you're at that level or a category if you're still at the category level you want to use the most of your multiples so in this case the west can go and i really don't like passing white dragons so we only need one west so that'll be a good pass next so where we're weak right now is in east we need an east here we can let the west go maybe let's see they want three we can do three so we'll pass three five west and we're playing the concealed news hand we need a east that's really the weakness at the moment Okay, <clears throat> that was a really risky pass. Um, that's an indication One that they're Three either not a defensive passer or they're, you know, Eight building a, a good hand. So we need to discard these nine characters quickly if we can. Five, six. We'll see. Eight they gave us West win. They gave us. A six, a six seven eight so the player across from us gave us six seven eight that'll be something to remember later six dots there's a keeper eight bamboos we need uh Four east bamboos. east would really solidify this hand now the the thing about this <coughs> six is bamboos. if we get there quick enough somebody might discard the east for the winning tile six but dots. it's a single we got it Okay, so we're going to keep it. All right, let's discard six bam. Six bam so now bam. we can use jokers to help us if winds Four go down. Character. This is a concealed hand, so we're not going to be able to call for any of the tiles until we're ready to win. So we just want to draw well. We have three discards, Four which is bamboo. really good at the moment anyway. Three characters. Now, the interesting thing at the moment is... Seven bamboo. One player has discarded flower, uh, a wind. Nine so dots. either the two players here across from us and to the left. Four characters. That would be south and west. Either Seven bamboo. they're maybe doing something with news or winds, or the winds are Three on the dots. wall. And so we want the latter. We want the winds in the wall, and we want to pick them. Is that too much to ask? Maybe. Pung. Oh, okay, so they're probably not going to need wins. Joker. <laughs> With a pung of threes, there's no way. So we won't have a contender Four there. characters. Okay, we got a keeper. Seven characters. We got a keeper. So really right now, we need Pung. south and red. South and red. Red dragon. Oh, that's one of our tiles. Well, at least Seven nobody wanted bamboos. it, but there was a hesitation there, so... Let's see, three, three Seven dot, characters. the player to our left may have dragons. Eight dot. Maybe. We will have to wait and see. Two so let's characters. see, they have a lot of two, four, six, eight in front of them. My guess Come is on. they're playing, oh, there's a two. Two, they could be playing a year white hand. Dragon. Oh, they just threw a white dragon. Maybe not. It's kind of hard Eight to tell bamboos. with one exposure, but I like to practice reading Nine hands. Characters. So if you look at their discards, they have a one two bamboo. out. They have a lot of two, four, six, eight. Maybe they're Eight doing dots. consecutive run. They could be doing consecutive four run dots. with the two, but probably not two, four, two six, bamboos. eight. There's a hesitation. They could be doing Come like on. numbers, like numbers with twos and news, maybe. Two dots. Yep like numbers with twos and news so this is Four the player bamboos. with news we may not get a south out of them so we may need to rely on six characters jokers for our south nine bamboos there it is they got it all right always something to learn whether you win or lose i think this quote is really Poignant. It's, I never lose. I either win or learn. And Nelson Mandela said that. That's one of my favorite all-time quotes. So even though we didn't win, we learned. Reading hands. It's a great skill to build. So here we have news with twos. 
like numbers. That's a very popular hand and it's very easy to build if winds are going around in the first Charleston. And of course here we were building concealed news. And here we have odds. They had risky discards, flowers. And then here, ooh, one, three, five, seven, nine, ready to win. Ready to win on a seven or not a five. That was a really close, close game. Look for my email in the video description below. Send me an email. I can send you information on the VIP trial at Mahjong time. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.